Yeah. All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing some freestyling for you. Yes, sir, this will help you guys with, you know, thinking on your feet when it comes to like girls, you know, for all you guys out there. Yeah, let's get started. Joe, you wanna start? Yeah. Okay. Hey, flexing for the gram and for the YouTube. I'm trying to level up, yeah, you should too. Yeah, pulled up to the gym and it's empty. About to pop off, skirt off in the hazy. Yeah, about to order up a heli. Yeah, call me up on the telly. Yeah, about to go pump up the weights. Yeah, all you boys, you fake. Yeah, all y'all come with the hate. Yeah, pull up in the web. Yeah, me and bro, we pulling up to the stop sign. Yeah, gonna dig this hole in the gold mine. Yeah, me and bro shooting up videos. Yeah, we dancing with the hoes. In the club, yeah, going downtown. Yeah, you are a clown if you think you're gonna hate on us. Yeah, just ride the bus. Alright, turn that shit down. Alright, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? We got the microphone working. But yeah, we're gonna run you guys through a workout. Well, you guys are gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy this nice little montage. Yep, we're of gonna us be doing our thing. Exerting our muscles and getting big. Yeah. Alright guys, welcome to the Fight Picks section of the video, UFC 273 coming up tomorrow. Yeah, if you didn't know, me and Joe are some big fight fans, so we're going to give you our picks. To go off of, I am going to go with Mickey Gall based yeah. on experience here. You guys, Pete, the young wearer and the OG, Nick Diaz, don't be scared, homie. This is him laying in the cage when he was fighting Anderson Silva. Moving on to one that we are both looking forward to. We got yeah. Josh Fremd versus Anthony Hernandez. Yep. Josh Fremd is a Slippery Rock alum. That's where we're at right now. Yeah, he's also from Pittsburgh. So yeah, from Pittsburgh. He's from our from our our place. You know. I'm gonna yeah. go with the hometown boy, Josh Fremd. I'm gonna be pulling for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be, be batting on him or anything, but I'm pulling for him. Yeah. Ian Gary. Ian Gary and uh, Darian Weeks, so this is a good one. Ian Gary, I don't know if you guys saw his debut, but it was really good. Got clipped a couple times, but in the end, knocked the guy out. Good fight. Darian Weeks is coming off a loss. What are you cracking up about? <laughs> So what do you think about this one, man? Well, I'm going to say Ian Gary is the next <laughs> Conor McGregor, man. He's he's coming on strong, man. And he knocked that dude out last that he fought. And he's been saying it was the jitters that was, you know, he was losing the first round. But, hey, he yeah. knocked the dude out and got the W, so. All right, next up we got Vink Pichel versus Mark Madsen. I don't know much about these two individuals, but... um. Both coming off a win. Yeah, both coming off a win. Mark Madden is uh, undefeated. Yeah. Madsen. But you know. Yeah, I'm going to go with Madsen know. on this one. You're going to go with Madsen? I'm yeah, gonna, I'm I don't gonna know go much with, about Madsen, but he this is, this is a good one. And Tisha Torres. Yeah. Two more chicks. Really good. Uh, Tisha well Torres known. actually just competed in a bikini competition. Um, which, you know, is bodybuilding for women. And she did pretty good, I think, right? She, yeah, she yeah, won. She did something. She, like, won, she won, I think. I think she won, her, okay. like, the Open and shit. She won, though. She awesome. did really good, yeah. She's uh, she's a great athlete. But Mackenzie Dern, you know, she's also Black good Black belt in well. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. 
I want to, you um, know, it's basic striker versus grappler. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a gamble. But I mean, Tisha Torres is more well rounded, I feel like, in yeah. the striking department. And I mean, you know, she Every submitted some girls. So I'm honestly going to pull with the tiny tornado, Tisha Same. Torres. Same. Next up, we got Come Shot Shamaya versus Gilbert Burns. Yes, sir. Shamaya's a huge, huge, huge fave. fave. Huge. huge fave. The um, hype train. No, I think he's a beast. Now, this one is I a think, toughie. I think he gets it done. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a toughie for me because Gilbert Burns. I love Gilly. If anyone's, like, a true fan, they know that this guy's a beast. He fought Kamaru Usman. Dropped him. He's willing to fight Kamzat Shemaev. Yeah, he's the only one willing to step up. Like, are you kidding? He's a beast. He's number two and in the he's world. he's a jiu-jitsu world champion, so he can submit. If Shemayev. anyone can stop the hype train, it's Shemaev, but I am probably going to say Shemaev will win. <laughs> so who you got in this man? Um, I I already said I got Shamayev. I got Shamayev. He's a beast. A man. Yeah, and then next up we got Aljamain <laughs> Sterling versus Piotr Jan. Yes, yeah, sir. That was the illegal knee. That was so. This a rematch. Jan threw an illegal knee against Sterling, even though Jan was winning the fight, and it was very controversial. But Aljamain Sterling is the champ because Jan was the champ and he got disqualified by the illegal knee. So Sterling's the champ now. And he also recently just got some surgery on his disc or something. Something. Yeah, it's disc, like spine surgery. And um, yeah, so he's saying he's feeling way better. He's in insane shape, but so is Jan. Um, but I'm going to go with Sterling. I'm going to go with Sterling. I'm gonna go with Sterling. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be very successful in the grappling this time around, and he's gonna be able to get, go all five rounds. And I think that's what it's gonna take to beat Yon. So, I'm looking forward to it. If I was a betting man, Sterling. Yeah, I'd say you know he's he's the uh, underdog to bet on so. I'm going to go with Sterling, knowing that I may also be wrong. Who knows? But it's an MMA fight. Anything can happen. But I think Sterling, he won the first round of the last fight. Gassed out. See if he can fix it. He had the surgery, as Joe mentioned. So I think he'll be able to get the job done. Next um, up in the main event, we have Chan Sung Jung, better known as the Korean Zombie, versus Alexander Volkanovsky. It was supposed to be a fight between Volkanovski and Max Holloway, but Max Holloway got injured, so he had to pull out, and the Korean Zombie put his name in the bucket and yes, got sir. The shot. And about to go to the number here, dog. And he gay. Yep, that's who the Korean Zombie beat last. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Danny he, beat, he beat Sir Daniel Ige. Sir Daniel. Yep. Yeah. It's a Danny good win. Ige. He beat. I don't think it's good enough to beat Volkanovski, no, but... No, no. Volk, Volk's a guy. He swims with the Sharks. You Chris. guys saw his last fight against Ortega. Mm -hmm, yep. He's caught in a... Guillotine. Guillotine choke. Guillotine. <laughs> and... Yeah, he was. Uh, we thought he was about to lose. He was about to be out for the count, and for some reason he got out. And yeah, later came to realize that he swims with sharks on the regular. You're saying that's why he got out? No, but <laughs> in the promos, so he was saying. So I was going off that. I think Volk's gonna win because yeah. he's a beast. I think the only man that can beat him is Max Holloway. I think Volk's next level. I think he's going to beat Korean Zombie pretty easily. I think we might be seeing a knockout. I'm I'm going on the limb here, but I think we may see it. Volk said he wants to see it. I think we may see it. Awesome. I think we may see it. So Yeah, so that ends our fight picks. I think Volkanovski is going to win. Yes, sir. Let us know if you guys are betting or anything in the comment section. 
Uh, this has been a fun video to film. Yes, sir. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're going to be posting a lot of stuff, um, a lot of new content, and it's going to be a great time. So you guys follow the journey, and we're just going to be leveling up in every aspect of our lives. So And documenting the whole journey. Yes, sir. So, yes. yep, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, or press the button, turn notifications on. Yes, and we are going to be dropping one video one each video week. week. And we're going to be putting our socials down below our Instagram as well for some more content so you can keep up with the Delpino twins. Yes, sir. Delis trotting off, baby. Trotting off. Yes. Signing off. That was a good one. Very good.